1916 D Mercury Dime. Graded as good 6 by NGC. The 1916 D Mercury Dime stands as the unequivocal cornerstone of the series, boasting an impressively low production of 264,000 coins. Following at a considerable distance, the 1921P and 1921D releases each account for slightly over 1 million pieces. Although generally well struck, the 1916D exhibits an atypical grade distribution, with many specimens falling within the fair or almost good to very good range, poor examples often lack a discernible mint mark, making them indistinguishable from a 1916P, while the occasional fine coin surfaces. This heavily circulated specimen ended up selling for $2,040. Number 6. 1999P Georgia State Quarter Struck on an Experimental Planchet. Graded in Mint State 65 by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, in preparation for the 2000 Sacagawea dollar, the Philadelphia Mint experimented with the statehood quarters, testing for compositions on all five types in 1999, including this Georgia State Quarter. The four compositions resulted in gold-colored coins or greenish coins, either type with or without a copper core. This piece has a greenish color, but we are unable to determine if it has a copper core or not, due to the holder. It was sold for $2,160. Number 5. 1922 No D. Lincoln Sent with Strong Reverse. Graded as Extremely Fine 40 by PCGS. Lincoln Scents were only struck at the Denver Mint in 1922, but excessive dye were effaced the mint mark on three obverse dyes, resulting in the sought after No D variety. This lightly worn and lightly abraded specimen is from dye pair 2, with a heavily polished obverse and a strongly detailed fresh reverse dye. Dye pair 2 coins are by far the most desirable of the no D varieties. This specimen was sold for $2,640 on January 29, 2024. Number 4. 1937 S. Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 67 by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, the 1937S Washington Quarter is plentiful overall and is occasionally seen in MS67, the finest numeric grade achieved. However, a distinct minority of these top-grade coins are CAC-endorsed. This example is an ideal registry coin. Sharp detail and pristine satin luster adorn the bone-white surfaces, with russet border toning emerging inward from the rims. Sold on January 10, 2024 for $3,840. Number 3. Vividly Toned 1954 Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 68 by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, slightly speckled toning in copper orange, deep rose and sea green is more extensive on the obverse, the reverse retaining more silvery brilliance. Both sides are universally frosted in finish with outstanding surface preservation. It was sold for $9,000. Number 4. 1957 Lincoln Scent. Graded in Mint State 67 Plus Red by PCGS. Luster is frosty and vibrant, yielding rich copper orange and rose red hues with no carbon spotting. Strike sharpness is similarly impressive. A conditionally scarce superb gem red example of this late wheat scent issue, rare in this grade with the PCGS Plus designation. It was sold for $20,400. Number 1. 1969S Lincoln Scent with Double Dye Obverse. Graded in Mint State 64 Red by PCGS. Highly sought after guidebook variety. The 1969S Double Dye Obverse has been declared by numerous writers as the king of the Lincoln Scent varieties. In a guidebook of Lincoln Scents, Bowers writes, Discovery of this variety made front page news in Coin World, July 8, 1970. The Secret Service went on a witch hunt for these, believing they were counterfeit in the style of fake Philadelphia mint double dyes. By the time these were acknowledged as legitimate, five genuine coins had been destroyed. The dye doubling is not quite as dramatic as it is on the 1955 double dye scent, but the 1969S variety is significantly rarer. It was sold for $49,200. Thanks for watching this video. Consider subscribing to our channel for more captivating numismatic content. God's willing, See you in the next episode.